Hello, everyone. Imagine this. I'm eight years old, sitting on the living room floor, completely captivated by a TV commercial for a toy that I didn't even know I wanted. The colors, the music, the way everything seems so fun and exciting, something about that just clicking my brain. But it wasn't the toy that fascinated me, it was the ad itself. And even as a kid, I knew there was something special about the way these ads could grab my attention and stick with me. Now, fast forward to today, we're all been there, right? You're scrolling through your phones, and just for a few seconds, a mobile game ad pops up. Maybe some CD puzzle or a dramatic storyline you don't really care about. But then, a few hours later, you start thinking about it again. It replays in your mind, almost like a song that you can get out of your head. Is that magic, or there is something deeper going on? Well, that's why we're here to explore. You see, my fascination with ads has only grown over the years, and what I once found intriguing as a child has now become a real passion to understand the psychology behind these captivating moments. Why do these short, seemingly insignificant clips stick with us so strongly, and now do they manage to pull us back in again and again? Today, I want to dive into that very question. We're going to uncover the clever psychological triggers that make these ads so unforgettable, because what it might feel like magic, it's really the result of some very smart, very intentional psychological strategies. And once we understand them, we might see the world of advertising and even our own mind a little differently. Welcome, everyone, to today's breakout session on why people click, the psychology of books in mobile game ads. My name is Giacomo Maragliula, and I'm very excited to guide you through this fascinating topic as the creative lead of Supersonic Unity's in-house game publisher. I have the incredible opportunity to oversee and guide the entire creative process from the very initial prototype test to full-scale game launches. My role gives me a unique perspective on how a simple ad can evolve into a compelling creatives that drive millions of clicks. My team and I are focused on crafting and optimizing ads that not only grab the attention, but drive the users to make an action and download the game. I'm very, very excited and also a bit emotional about this today, but I'm very happy to see you all. And let's quick have an overview of what we'll touch in today. We're going to understand the psychological triggers, explaining exactly what the psychological principle behind powerful uh, ads. We're going to delve into the science behind creating a hook, defining what hooks are in the context of mobile game ads and why they drive higher engagement. We're going to analyze effective hooks using some popular example of ads that drive higher engagement and learning actionable strategies on how to craft hooks that drive action. Now that we have a clear understanding of what we'll be touching, let's connect this to a crucial aspect of mobile game marketing. Creative performance is a leading indicator of your app's growth potential. And when it comes to your app ad campaign, every dollar needs to drive impact and foster growth. Mobile game ads clearly play a crucial role within this process by effectively engaging players and drive your app success. But what makes certain ads stand out? And often it comes to one key factor, a good hook. Good hooks in mobile game ads capture attention, drive engagement, and boost revenue, leading to a significant revenue increase and all the other metrics around. But in order to really understand the impact of hooks, we need to look at the data. Implementing effective hooks is not just a creative choice. It is a strategic investment with substantial financial return. And for example, ads with strong hooks tend to engage users more effectively by reducing the user acquisition cost from 20 to 40 percent and increasing IPM installs per thousand impression by approximately 30 to 50 percent compared to ads without hook. We see also an increase, 50 percent increase in ad spend that directly correlates with maximizing the user acquisition potential and driving growth by leveraging effective 
high-performing creatives to reach new audience, optimize cost, and seize market opportunities. With compelling hooks, we also uh, see an improvement, 20 to 40% improvement in return of ad spend because these ads convert the viewers eventually with more effectively and at a lower cost. But what makes exactly this hook truly effective? And this starts with understanding exactly these psychological triggers. And let's dive deep into it. Let's start with, first of all, some foundation. Understanding what drive players is key to com create compelling hooks. Players are motivated by the experience the gameplay can create. And in order to connect with them, it's essential to understand their motivation and what they're looking for in a game, why they choose a game over another. It's a greater customization, it's enhanced social features. On the other side, gameplay is about game objectives and now they align the player's motivation. How does the winning feel like? Does the game provide modes where the Players can strategize and feel accomplished. With countless gameplay type and diverse players' triggers, understand what motivates players and what they're seeking in a game is crucial to build for them effective ads that make them to drive action. Hooks use psychological triggers to tap into this motivation, as I said to really engage the viewers and drive them to take action. And what make people click on this ad? And this is relates to understanding these psychological triggers. And let's start with curiosity. As naturally, as naturally uh, curious creatures, we're drawn down into intriguing scenarios or unanswered questions. An ad that creates a curiosity gap at the space between what we know and what we want to know, drive us to seek the answers and keeping us engaged. Building on that, we have anticipation, ads that create suspense or highlight that something exciting to come, keep the viewers engaged and eager to see what happens next. Now let's explore the emotional triggers. Emotions play a crucial role in the decision making, ads that evoke strong feelings, whether it's compassion, joy, excitement, or even fear, tend to resonate more deeply with the audience. And these emotional connection are the driving force behind the viewer's decision to make action. Next is urgency. These ads include the strategic use of psychological triggers and time-sensitive elements that drive the viewers to engage with the ads immediately, <clears throat> creating a sense of urgency, push the viewers to act quickly and engage with the ad. Move on to social proof. We are often influenced by the action and the opinion of others. So I, ads that highlight social proof such as user reviews or testimonials or endorsement from influencers tend to build trust and credibility, encouraging the viewers to follow suit and engage. Following that, we have personalization. Personalized content feel more relevant and engaging, and ads that address viewers or tailor the message to their preferences tend to build a strong connection that make them more likely to click through. And finally, we have novelty. Humans are naturally attracted by new and unique experiences. And add that introduce innovative gameplay mechanics or unique characters or fresh concepts tend to resonate with the viewers much more deeply and making them eager to explore something different. Therefore, creating effective hooks is a mix of art and science. And what exactly are hooks within this context? At their core, hooks are the elements within the first few seconds of the hands that capture and retain viewers' attention. They are the irresistible bait that 
draws user in and make them want to engage with the ad. It's important to highlight that, of course, a well-crafted hook can make the difference between a user clicking or skipping on your ad. And how can you approach creating effective hooks? To start, they need to be clear and visible from the visual side with the easy to understand context and easy to understand context and uh, clear uh, consequences. So introducing visually appealing elements or surprising the viewers with an expected twist can really enhance the engagement. And importantly, you want your ads to trigger emotion, whether it is compassion, frustration, or even louder to have a lasting impact. Now, let's explore the different type of books that can elevate your mobile game ads and make them truly stand out. And let's start with transitions. One of the most impactful techniques is mastering transition, particularly those from animation to gameplay. As the narrative develops, these creatives, these transitions are crucial. And mastering this transition from the animated content to the real gameplay can really hook the users and make them want to engage with the rest of the content. Another powerful technique is environment or action shift. This, by introducing sudden changes in the scenery or the action, you can add an element of surprise, make the viewers really engage with this action shift and make the ad more dynamic and compelling. Following that, real life footage offer a compelling approach by introducing real footage that connect with the rest of the creative. These ads are particularly interesting, especially in the iteration of the top performing videos. Moving on, starting with visual appealing elements that create a calming, a relaxing experience, this ASMR opening capture viewer attention, offering a pleasant, a relaxing atmosphere. This soothing visual capture viewer attention with this compelling, uh, with compelling um, technique that drive completely the viewers in. Transitioning from a peaceful moment to a moment of tension can be equally compelling. And introducing conflict with a very well-crafted narrative or clear context and potential consequences, this is really hook the users and holding their attention with the drama right at the start. As the conflict items, compassion hooks are also very high effective by positioning the viewers in the position of, in the role of the rescuer, these ads create a very impactful emotional connection that make them so effective. For puzzle match or merge games, focusing on tutorial mechanics is very effective by quickly introducing the game elements, the viewers will clearly understand the challenges, the action, reaction dynamics, making this ad very effective for this particular genres. Moving on, on the other end, decision-making choices are capturing viewer attention by presenting exactly a choice at the start of the video. The curiosity to see what happens next makes the viewer eager to continue watch the ad and engage with it. And finally, we have growth and progression. This technique is used in idle farming or strategy games. These show the, how the user journey, the player journey, how they build, expand, and progress visually. This is appealing to a specific audience that are interested in achievement and development, make these ads very, very popular for them. Let's now analyze some real world example and analyze why these ads work so well. We're going to 
break down the best practices in terms of visual storytelling and audio for these ads, showing how this hook came to life. And to start with, let's analyze two successful ads for Trash Town Tycoon, two standout examples that share several key elements that make them so engaging. The first ad show the progression of time and now the accumulation of trash over the years becomes a crucial aspect as the population grows. This gradual accumulation of trash is visually striking, emphasizing the environmental impact and the implementation, strategic implementation of attention building music in the background emphasize an immediate need for action. On the second hand, it <clears throat> opens with a trash factory visibly losing money by its inability to catch the trash out of the rivers. Here, the implementation of the red dollars icon animation paired with an alarm synced effect in the background definitely increased this sense of urgency. Let's switch our focus to puzzle game and take, for example, Park Match, another successful game. Um, let's analyze how these best practices are employed by these two ads to engage the viewers. The storyline in the first ad focuses on an angry stickman stuck in a queue, expressing all his frustration and impatience, right? With a voiceover, hey, move on, I'm late. These relatable scenarios evoke a strong sense of empathy from the viewers. The camera then pulls back to reveal a large amount of stickmen in a queue, enhancing this sense of urgency and building at the same time anticipation for what comes next. It features vivid bright color and eye contrast, making the stickmen stand out from the monochromatic background of the parking lot capturing viewer attention, make them engage. And additionally, the frustrated voiceover of the ad personality to the stickman and uh, the implementation of car horn sounds in the background enhance this sense of chaos and urgency. The second ad emphasizes on a calming, a quiet experience in contrast with the uh, chaotic cue of the first line. The color scheme is simplified by two main colors, red and yellow, that creates a striking contrast that is very, very easy to follow. The music here is liked, promoting relaxation and enhancing this calming experience. Moving next to another two successful ads for Merge Miner. Let's break down these uh, best practices that make them so effective in peak viewers' interest. The first ad focus on educating viewers with the core game mechanics, merging tools to increase their power. This creates a sense of anticipation for the moment the newly merged tool is in use. The second ad focus is to skip this process and go straight to the action by showing exactly how this powerful tool creates an amazing, exciting results by dropping and crashing all the diverse texture block. Moving on, two more ads for Autogun Heroes. These compelling ads stand out for their storytelling and immersive visual. And uh, let's break down and understand exactly what is happening here. The first ad showing the main hero diving into the action and setting up the stage for a very intense gameplay. The music here is the dynamic camera movement uh, captivate the viewers and driving them to continue watching the ad, keeping the momentum and the excitement of the uh, build in the opening. The music here is fast paced and intense, matching the energy of the visuals. On the other side, a relatable 
living room scenarios with a creative twist. A man here is playing a game on the sofa on a mobile television, smartly introducing the gameplay scenario into the ad. This humorous interaction between the two actors drive engagement and make them, the user, curious to see what happened next. And lastly, let's analyze two successful ads for going balls. Uh, these ads use a specific strategy that is focused on simplicity, engagement, and fun, making these ads very appealing for a broader audience. The first ad quickly introduces a competitive multiplayer scenario, pitting the players one against each other in a rush to the finish line. This ad uses vivid, eye contrasting colors to make the ad stand out from the urban environment and is paired with realistic, satisfying sound effects that enhance the excitement of the uh, competitive landscape. On the second ad, we see a ball navigating through increasingly difficult obstacles. These captivate the viewers because it builds a strong sense of anticipation on what will come next. Both of the ads, as you can see, use 3D responsive skybox environment that amplify this experience. Well, seems easy enough, right? Uh, not the first. Seems like we have some challenges to keep in mind. And highly performant creatives are those that successfully capture attention, convey the game's values proposition, and compel users to take action, whether it's downloading the game, making some in-app purchase, or remain engaged over time. However, building these highly performant creatives is not without its challenges. And let's dive to understand some of the main obstacles that developers and marketers face in this endeavor. The first challenge is creating effective hooks, developing compelling visual and intriguing storyline that capture viewers' attention in a very short time frame. It's very, very difficult. In a crowded landscape of the more by game ads, users are literally bombarded with countless of advertisement, making them very difficult to stand out. That's why hooks must be immediately engaging. And this involves the, not just uh, how you uh, create a compelling visual, but how they resonate emotionally or intellectually with the viewers. The second challenge is user engagement, maintaining user interest and keeping them engaged demands a lot of innovation and adaptation. To achieve that, it's important to clearly understand the targeted audience interests and preferences. The third in line is sustaining performance, of course, continually refreshing and diversifying content. To sustain and enhance performance and growth is a big challenge. And lastly, market competition. We're in a very uh, crowded mobile game market that is very competitive, right? With literally a new game being launched on a daily basis. So it's really important that the content is constantly refreshed to show these new features and reach new audiences. Make them want to really continue to engage and uh, apply to their experience. So how do you overcome these challenges? Well, crafting effective hooks intentionally to drive action is crucial. And the recipe for successful hooks can be broke down in five key elements. Visual appeal, trending elements, and context. These are the first things that viewers notice and they capture attention. While emotion and motivations are 
exactly what drive action. So understanding this key principle will help you refine your hook strategy and these step-by-step -step guides can walk you through the process of crafting compelling hooks that capture attention, evoke emotion and drive action. It's really important to in this case to start your research by deeply understanding your audience interests, pain points and desires to create compelling ads that resonate with them, as well as making sure the visual appeal is great and you trigger emotion with your hooks to make sure to create curiosity and keep these people engaged. As we wrap up, I just want to reflect to the key moments that we've discussed. We have explored the importance of adding psychological triggers into your mobile game ads and how these hooks are so powerful and fundamental to tap into the human psychology. It's important that to remind that incorporating these effective hooks is not just a creative choice, it's really, really a strategical choice that can increase your engagement and boost revenue. And finally, the basic recipe for your effective hooks is quite simple and powerful. Capture attention, evoke emotion and drive action. As you walk back to your teams and think how to adapt this insight, I'm encouraging you to focus on the psychology behind your creative work and always ask yourself, what emotion are we triggering and how are we driving users to take action? I hope this was insightful and you can leave the room with uh, new ideas and new strategies that you can apply to your new projects. We can open the floor to questions. I'm very excited to dive deep into any of the topics here.